In this video, I'm taking an old magazine rack and changing it up. It was pretty, it had like a crocodile pattern, but it looked really Christmassy to me. So my daughter and I went to work. On the inside, we painted it with Water Lily by DIY Paint. And on the outside, I used DIY Paint's Apothecary. We have so many colors to choose from, I'm sure you can find a favorite. The key to doing this was using a long stemmed brush in order to get in the middle. Now I had some apothecary that had gotten really thick and I put a lot of water, probably too much water in there. So I applied that to the ends and I did have to do several coats just to get a good coverage. But on the inside, the water lily, we did um, full strength. Then we took two recycled decoupage papers and decoupaged the outside of it. So the first thing that we did was I cut out just the peacock on the bottom of the paper. And I was gonna use that for the middle of the outside panels. It was easy to do because this actually had a frame, a border, and so I just cut right outside the border. And on the outside, it had a little bit too much, so I went ahead and I just trimmed it so that I could fit it right in the middle of my piece. Then I, once I had it positioned exactly where I wanted, I hold it firmly with one hand and I applied DIY Paints Liquid Patina. It's a decoupage medium and so much more, but I used it here for decoupaging and I just apply a good even coat. And then once I have that, I, go, I can go ahead and apply it firmly down with Saran Wrap. So if you just take saran wrap in a ball, it just helps you to spread the paper onto or, or apply the paper onto the medium without having any wrinkles or without having any tears. Then I flip the paper back and I go ahead and apply liquid patina to the rest of the piece and do the same exact process. You want to make sure you do it from the out, from the inside out so that any air pockets, any wrinkles are easily taken out. And you always want to make sure you get your edges down really well as well. Then I took my second paper. I feel like it was a great coordinating paper. It's the Art Nouveau and it has the same colors and it goes really well with the DIY paints that we chose. And then I put that on the front panels and I did the exact same technique. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't hesitate, like the video, comment if you have any questions or just let me know what you think about the paint, the products, the recycled papers. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps my small business and it helps my YouTube channel so much. So thank you in advance for doing that. If you have any questions, again, please let me know. I'd love to help you. You can also shop for these products on my website, lisaboondesigns.com. The link is in the details. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Lisa Boone Designs. So as you can see, I go ahead and I just apply everything. Now, what's different about this is that the front panel does have some curvature going to it, but you want to let the paper dry totally before you you do anything so what i do is the excess paper i sand it off with a sanding sponge going in one direction so that i don't tear the paper now here's where the curves are so i just take the sanding sponge on the sides and i just slowly 
work my way around all of the curves from one end to the other and you get a really nice crisp edge. So I decided that I wanted to add some stripes. Now I didn't film the whole process, but I just eyeballed. I put some blue painters tape along the sides of the piece of paper that I decoupaged on. And then I added a stripe of water lily, just a small thin stripe. I like to apply my paint and then take the paper, I'm sorry, take the tape off when I'm done with the stripe. I know some people like to wait for it to dry. I do it as soon as I'm finished and I've never had any problems. You just wanna make sure that all of your edges are really taped down so that you won't have any um, bleed through. But if you do, just take a little artist brush and cover it up. I wanted to darken it up, so I went ahead and I took some Hay Sailor and I painted the inside, but I allowed the water lily to come through and it really helped for that crocodile pattern to, to just shine. And I love the way that it turned out. I used a thicker amount of paint on the top, but then I soon get my water bottle and I just let it drip down. And I love the way water lily and Hey Sailor work together. It came out so pretty. It's definitely not easy painting the inside of such a narrow space. So really, again, the key is using a long brush handle and just working that paint in there and holding it at the tip. And I definitely used a lot more water on the inside so that I could get the paint to spread easily. That's what I love about DIY paint. You can water it down and you still have a good amount of pigmentation. You can actually water it down 10 to one and still retain the pigment of the color. So I applied a little bit of Hay Sailor on the outside panels and I just hand painted it alongside there, making sure that I didn't get any on my stripe of the water lily. adding the hay sailor really brought it home and I love the way that it turned out so here's the finished piece it's available at my store now and then 575 McCoy Avenue I would love for you to come and visit if you're ever in Madisonville area don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below and let me know how you would have painted it and what your favorite DIY paint color is. Thank you for watching Lisa Boone Designs. I hope you have an incredible day.